Hello everybody, this is Daryl the AutoCool Guy and today we're going to take a look at the AutoCool 200. This is a low frequency controller and um, you, once you get it installed you, you tie fan A and B together this goes to ground. Once you tie A and B together you can tie this to a single fan return or to the ground side of, of two fans. This will run two or more fans, no problem at all. Uh, this controller has 10 of these transistors for switching and they're each rated 110 amps each and they'll go over 100 degrees centigrade which 100 C is boiling. This is probably the most powerful controller out there on the market I believe. And on the back side this terminal here is for the battery positive this, the controller actually runs off the battery positive and you put a little one amp fuse, one or two amp fuse between the um, the battery positive and this terminal. Put the fuse close to the battery so if you short the wire the, uh, the, the wire won't uh, burn up. This goes to ignition which turns the system on. This, is, this goes to ground and this terminal here and here are for the sensor. You can in, use any of our sensors with this controller, in, any of our controllers, or, and so on. The um, controller should be around 45,000, 50,000 ohms cold. If one side of the sensor is grounded to the brass or shorted to the brass, the controller is not going to work. Uh, this pin here is the failsafe. You tie this sw switch to ground, turns on the failsafe, which turns the fans on to full RPM. This is the AC pin. When you tie this to 12 volts through, a, through, ignition, through your AC system, it turns the fans on to a speed selected by this little potentiometer back here under this hole and so on with a little flat bladed screwdriver. Now the radiator temperature will override the AC fan speed if you demand more cooling. The beauty is you want to set the outflow temperature of your radiator at 15 to 20 degrees below engine operating temperature so that the thermostat has headroom to operate and to keep your engine under control. And that's the whole beauty of our controllers. And if you see other video, avoid relays. They're, they're bad news. If they short out, you're going to have your fan running at high speed all the time. Or if they're open, you're not going to have any fun at all. So take a look at these and other controllers at theautocoolguy.com. Thanks, guys.